I think you should have a, a good view of the odometer or the display panel right there. <coughs> what I'm going to do is show you how to go from miles to kilometers and Fahrenheit to Celsius. Uh, it's a little tricky and the explanation in the book can get missed uh, if you don't do it exactly right. And uh, the key to it is to turn first the mode switch is right here. Uh, there's another mode switch up here on the entertainment system, but don't get confused with that. This is the mode switch for the display. We're going to show you how to change your display settings from standard US to uh, metric, uh, like from miles to kilometers and so forth, Fahrenheit to Celsius. You may purchase a, a vehicle that was in Canada or something, and maybe the miles are in kilometers and you don't want that. Or somehow someone set up the clock for 24 hour. Uh, so one o'clock is 1300. I'm going to show you how to change it. it. It's a It's a special little way of doing it if you don't catch it from the instruction manual uh, or the instructions in the owner's manual You'll miss a critical part and I'm going to show you that critical part uh, Which is very easy, but uh, it's misleading in the instructions Okay, first thing you have to do is turn the ignition on to either on or accessories and let the display settle down. Okay, and uh, the mode switch is what advances you to the different settings, as you see. Okay, I'm at odometer. It doesn't matter where you are as long as the display comes on. Once it's settled down, you turn it off and then back on and press and hold the uh, mode switch. Notice it comes up on the first one as distance and I can change it by pressing and holding or pressing the mode switch back and forth. When it gets to where you want it, like kilometers, you press and hold, it advances to the next. Okay, I want imperial gallons, press and hold. I want Celsius, press and, and it goes to Celsius. 20, I want 24 hours, I press and hold. Okay, and we're out of the setup. It went around and now all of my settings are in metric. There's Celsius and the distance is in kilometers. There's a, a 130, uh, 13, 270. Okay, so, well, let's see, yeah, okay, all right, now, to get out of this and go back to the original, so it'll stay this way until I change it, I'm going to change it, so, I turn the ignition on, let it settle, this is the key part, turning it on, and then turn it off, back on, and press and hold the mode, and then you can change it to where you want it by pressing the mode. As long as you do it within <coughs> 10 seconds, you're, <coughs> you're okay. Once it gets to the desired setting, gallons, press and hold. It advances to the next, and then you use the mode switch to change it. Fahrenheit, I press and hold. It goes to the 24 hours. I want 12. Press and hold, and I'm back to normal let's see whoop I'm still in kilometers I didn't get my kilometers uh, correct okay so I'm gonna go back and get the kilometers turn it on let it settle turn it off back on press and hold and now once it goes to miles, I press and hold, and now I can just wait 10 seconds and it'll get out. I don't want to go around and change everything else again. There, 
it's out of the setup mode. Now we go around and I'm in Fahrenheit, miles. There's my odometer setting in miles and Fahrenheit. <laughs> yep. So we're good. Okay. So that's it. That's how you do it. And uh, that's the key. Turn it off and then back on and press and hold. And then you can advance using the mode switch to advance. And then when you hit the desired uh, section you want or setting you want, press and hold, it'll advance to the next. Okay, go out there and try it one time. All right, and then you don't have that 24-hour clock anymore. Hope this will help someone. Sam Owens over and out.